What's a thing you strongly dislike about Reddit? Often objectively incorrect information gets upvoted, and even if it is corrected, the correction doesn't get a quarter of the attention. People speak with authority and if it sounds plausible, people buy into it. I've fallen into this trap, myself, or the correction gets removed by mods, attacks are not allowed. Please read our rules on the sidebar. Future violations will result in a temporary ban. GIF of cop who accidentally crashes his patrol car at the same time as the guy in the backseat slipped his cuffs and was trying to set it on fire with a lighter. Top reply. Actually, this was purposefully intentional, and it was the only thing the officer could have done in this situation, because he didn't know what the guy in the backseat was trying to do. I about quit this effing site. I effing hate this pseudo expert sh You see, I'm actually a professional bullshter myself. The I'm so quirky and original because Reddit people. Liking Reddit isn't a personality tray. Neither is liking The Office, Parks and Rec, or Arrested Development. But don't tell Reddit that. After a while, I get tired of seeing all the sex-oriented Ask Reddit posts. Don't go to Artifu. That f I glitch with the inbox where it doesn't show the correct number of unread comments. Yes, apparently I have over 200 unread comments. All read. Click on the three circles at the two and click mark all as read edit. Wow this blow up. Thanks kind stranger for the gold. How they keep changing the ads to look more and more like real posts. I wouldn't have a problem with this if they allowed comments on all ads. They used to. Turns out being able to call out shty and shady advertising practices isn't advertiser friendly. You used to be able to downvote them. Too. I doubt the downvotes actually still work. But I use Red Reader on mobile these days. Ugh yes I'll be watching an ad for like 5 seconds before I check for the sub and hey it's not there. They're working just as intended then. The increasing number of clickbait titles. My front page is turning into Facebook. Which is depressing. A bunch of clickbait titles and or scripted videos that people actually think are genuine. Here's a picture of my daughter. She's smiling because she was just told she's going to Disneyland. She also has terminal cancer and diabetes. Did I also mention she's autistic and has Down syndrome? And that she had an alien Siamese twin removed from her shoulder when she was born? Upvotes please. When I come late to a post and I see. Deleted. Everywhere. Just f I deleted completely then and stop making me curious about what top comment said. Copy the link and instead of Reddit in the link replace it with Ram of Edit and it'll show the comment. This only works if the comment was up for at least an hour to be archived. Do you know why this happens so often? I just don't get it. Are they just trying to troll everyone else or what? I can't think of any reasonable explanation. I've heard that some people have their comments set to automatically delete themselves to protect their privacy. I'm not sure how they do it. But it's annoying in old posts when you're trying to troubleshoot a real life problem the deleted comment apparently solved. Sob story headlines. And just downright lazy pics on our pics that get upvoted like crazy. Post that sh on Facebook. That's why I go to unknock and text pics instead. The whole point is to combat that issue and just appreciate what our pics was supposed to be. Pics. On mobile app. Unable to sort notifications by read and read. If all the notifications have been read, it will still show that there are unread notifications. I turned off all notifications except replies to comments and posts. Best decision I ever made. Go to notifications. Envelope and lower right corner. Click on three little dots and upper right corner click on edit notification settings. I hate that so many redditors are obsessed with reddit itself and its mechanics. As in a lot of comedy pages and memes are just about upvotes. Cake day. Not having the karma to post in places. I don't find it clever or meter. It's just boring. Picture of sap baby Yoda. Me when I has no karma but wants cake day dotes. If a post contains the terms cake day. Upvotes. Sort by new. Posting for 6 karma. ETC. That's an automatic downvote from me. Any love for. I stop reading and downvote. When a post that could elicit some interesting responses has nothing but puns. Dick jokes. Pop culture references or references to pop culture references in past threads as the top comments. Same goes for YouTube videos. If YouTube ever adds a way to mute or ban words in comments everybody will be banning the words nobody and me. It's like our dank mums users who genuinely think they're funny also watch YouTube videos and somehow make it to the top with their comment. 
I can't think of the right word, but it's especially seen in subs like our Amithia Hall and our relationship advice. The people on there just think in a way that's completely unrealistic and not at all like the real world. Like yeah, you can have your opinions and sh, but almost everything I see is absurd because that's just not how people in real life think and act. Also, forgot to mention, the top post of all time on Ata is a scathing rant about how idiotic the members are and how disconnected from the world it all is. It perfectly ripped into the subs members, but sadly had little impact on it. It did work for a few weeks after. I saw a lot more people calling out idiotic and unrealistic judgments. However people forgot quickly and we're back to square one. Doesn't help that the mods now allow validation posts so the sub is pretty much a creative writing forum now. They should make a sub called Daram Thihole where we share stories of what bricks we are. That's what I've always said though. I know I'm an a-hole. I don't need you a-holes telling me. Plus we all know what subs like that are really for. Validation and humbler brag. I stopped supporting my brother because he spends all of the money on drugs and after he OD'd I put him in rehab. He's mad at me. Am I the a-hole? Those relationship subs are stupid too. People act like the posters haven't already made up their mind and are just looking for pats on the back. People act like the stories and horribly one-sided. Oh I told her she should dump that loser. I had a productive day. F off with that. They are all wasting their time. You are not making the world a better place. I personally experienced that in our relationship advice. I was having issues with my sue and was told to break up. Against their advice. We talked about our issues and set goals and now our relationship is much better than it ever was. It's not too late to lawyer up and join a gym. I had a friend who went for advice on our Amithia hole because she accidentally bought something for the wrong price. It was £10 total and she got it for £3. And couldn't correct the cashier because she has mutism. The people in the comments, instead of trying to help her or give a sincere answer, called her. I'm not exaggerating BTW. This is exactly what they said, a disgusting thief who only posted to gain sympathy about her disorder. They even said stuff like if you can't speak to a cashier then you're not ready for the real world even though she stated that her therapist told her to go out on her own. Literally a bunch of people calling her disgusting because the cashier made a mistake and my friend physically couldn't correct her. Those subs are not advice salons. They are churches. Churches have dogma and liturgies. And expel heretics. On our relationship at this the standard liturgical response to any dilemma story is always. Break up with him or her. On our personal finance the standard dogmatic advice is. Never borrow. Invest in index funds. Buy used stuff and pay cash only. It takes no imagination or inventiveness to just read from the standard prayer book, but apparently a lot of advice givers love doing it, even though it's often actually harmful to the supplicant, and even though many seem manifestly unqualified for the priesthood people giving out relationship counsel who seem unfamiliar with relationships, people giving out financial wisdom when they sound like teenagers without money, etc. There is a bigger, more ominous cultural problem in play right now where we downgrade expertise and accumulated wisdom you see it all the time with people fighting over core and avarice data and it's on display here too. Reddit sort of mocks experience and downvotes reasoned original answers while rewarding quotes from the approved prayer books in these churches. If you don't believe this, try asserting on our personal finance that debt can be a useful tool for controlling more assets at lower cost. Or that it's okay to buy a new refrigerator with a visa card when your old one dies and pay it off over 3 or 4 months. And see how quickly you are crucified as a heretic. I have over a decade of professional banking and investment experience and studied finance and banking in college. When I first joined Reddit I thought it would be fun to help people there until I realized my experience. Schooling and training was nothing compared to their having googled something one time. If you have expertise in an area it would be best served by not attempting to be active in that community. The echo chamber mentality and the mods who go on power trips. Also the Reddit admins and willingness to equally enforce their own rules. Award ceremony speeches for getting gold or a ton of upvotes on a comment. It used to be fine but I'm so tired of the kind stranger thing. Check out our award speech edits. Don't know why when someone is gilded they don't just reply via PM. Or the, the guy who replies why did this get 3 golds and a plat, like he's actually offended. How disorganized the comment chain still are, where, you can barely tell when a new comment starts, Reddit, for f sakes, 
just make the border lines bold so we can tell, otherwise, it looks like one really long, long list of comments. Everyone seems to bear an equally weighted opinion, if you're qualified to write in something, but the armchair internet experts think you're wrong and or they don't like it, then you may as well not have added to the discussion at all, this is infuriating. Especially when the actual expert spends a bunch of time and energy to write out a thorough, informative comment, and it gets downvoted. Meanwhile, the armchair expert throws out some bullsh, misleading one-liner, and it gets upvoted. Yup, it's not like I've spent years of my life honing my expertise, but the other person read a clickbait article and suddenly knows the right of things. For example, I have taught college statistics, I'm a math PhD student. One can make statistically valid conclusions from small sample sizes, even 30, and yet many people on our science dismiss any study out of hand if it has less than 1000 subjects, especially if the conclusion is a little unpopular, without thinking about study design, or they have no idea how experiments work and don't realize that the same exact people don't have to evaluate both resumes in order for us to conclude that one resume performs better than the other in the job market or they just believe that conclusions made with math are infallible. The fact that one person's ignorance carries equal weight to another's expertise. I'm a lawyer. I see a lot of very authoritative, highly upvoted posts here that are very incorrect. I also see a lot of misinformation being parroted in the comments. In the past, I've tried to correct it, but people will argue with me and tell me I'm the idiot. Yep. Legal advice R is full of advice that is guaranteed to get you sued, arrested or laughed out of a courtroom. The only good advice I've seen on legal advice is go talk to an actual lawyer. This is one of my favorites. The TL. DR of it is. Guy was getting a divorce and asked Reddit what to do. Reddit advised him to consult with every family law attorney in town. That way the attorneys are conflicted out and the wife couldn't retain them. They followed that terrible advice and ended up getting sanctioned for abuse of process. Legal Advice is the biggest pile of subreddit I've ever been to. I was building an application, and I went there once asking for basic advice about fair use copyright law only to find 2-3 arrogant bricks saying something was illegal. When I found precedent and law contrary to what they claimed, they called me ungrateful and said that I should have paid them $500 for this kind of legal advice. Despite them eventually admitting that they were not lawyers, when you get sued, don't come crawling back to me. Why the f would I come crawling back to some redditor without a law degree? We lawyers have our own secret subreddit and one of our favorite pastimes is shitting all over our legal advice. I'm a doctor and I've just stopped correcting others. I've been told I must be a terrible doctor or you're a pathetic liar you are pretending to be a doctor etc etc for correcting an utterly and undeniably incorrect medical fact, but, because I got there after all of its upvotes and gold, I'm just some effin' idiot trying to shun everyone as they marvel at fake facts. The problem is sometimes it can actually be dangerous, which goes the same for your line of work, too. I got into an argument with some dumb f about how to give CPR. I even linked the guidelines. It's not like we're talking really intricate. Medical science pretty bread and butter for a first aider, naturally, as I arrived after this hero posts their bullsh, incorrect story, I was downvoted in the focus of pretty pathetic online bullying, like, okay, go give your relative in cardiac arrest inadequate CPR because Professor Budfair69 says so on Reddit, Jesus Christ, anyway, when you actually look at a lot of the facts that folk proudly parade with authority but no source. Often they are just baseless bullsh. I feel ya pain. F this site and F core are never as for fist fing my plans for the next 6 months. There was a quote I saw a while ago that was something along the lines of the more I see reddit experts talk about a subject of which I'm actually knowledgeable, the more I wonder why I take to heart what people say on the subjects of which I'm not. I can stand two things. First is the fake humility here's a thing I made or did followed by it's not much but, drives me nuts and came here to say that, I'm not good but I'm 14, so upvote me really annoys me, it's like yeah, good you have a hobby, go practice, my autistic disabled wife son cat thinks their art is horrible, what does reddit think, then it's either a crayon drawing or something genuinely mediocre, the fact that it's a massive echo chamber, used to read all the credit questions back in the day but now I don't really bother, 
When someone asks what are the most severely underrated movies you know what the top 20 answers are gonna be. When you read that thread once you've read them all. Same with all the other old favorites. But then you miss out on reading random quotations from each movie listed. Everyone here with opinions about what's wrong with the concept of Reddit. So I'll chime in with what's wrong with actual Reddit. The search function is useless. Exactly. Sometimes I want to search for a post but all you can find are private subreddits. It's honestly easier and more effective to go to Google and type your search Reddit. It's weird that I have to search a website by going to a completely different website you'd think we'd have nailed search bar technology by now, but apparently not. And then people will make a similar joke or question that is popular on a sub and people will say use the search function before you post idiot, but they did the search function just solo acts. Reddit tends to promote extreme opinions by people with no real experience. It's great for memes and interesting tidbits but an awful place to get advice or perspective on anything important. It's really eye-opening when you see comments about a subject where you have legitimate expertise, and someone saying things that are completely wrong is getting up votes, and you get downvoted for telling they they're wrong. I got my therapist to check out the relationship sub just to kinda get his take. He said that on the whole it appears to be a bunch of teenagers with limited romantic experience if any, offering the worst marriage advice he's ever seen but doing so with incredible confidence. You mean you don't get your political opinions from screenshots of tweets from Twitter accounts of people who paraphrase someone else's witty statement? We're so utterly effed as a people because of Twitter. I know that sounds hyperbolic, but we now have insanely large chunks of people who base their politics on if that was a murder red beard screenshot. Opposed to the actual facts or reasoning behind the situation, it's reductionist to the extreme. That when you block someone they can still reply and see your activity, it makes no sense emo. Needs to be more like other social platforms where if you're blocked you can't see them at all. I didn't know that was a thing, till. The hive mentality, it's annoying af especially when people blindly downvote without really looking into the thing and only downvoting because others downvoted that, or they quickly search for buzzwords to see if they should upvote it or downvote it based on what social team they're on, opposed to the actual content or quality of what's being said. The effing repetitive comments, always the same effing comments, also edited comments thanking someone for gold, f you, there is so much I hate about the threads on reddit, so much I hate about internet culture in general. Obvious one, people who repost and claim to be original. I saw a really egregious one last night someone posted a very cool time lapse type video on our middle line to resting. I thought it was mad cool. Then I realized they stole someone else's video, cropped out the watermark, and posted it as their own. I obviously did my civic duty and downvoted the thief. But what's my one downvote to 45k upvotes from the oblivious? It's nothing. People on here are very uncreative with their jokes and very repetitive. Try and say something funny instead of repeating did you break your arms or I also choose this guy's wife. I get equally frustrated with the low quality comments that aren't even jokes. Like why do you get 1000 upvotes for saying wholesome on every remotely positive post. That you can't have an opinion that's contrary to the majority. Not even on our unpopular opinion. Christ, you're not wrong. Just went on that sub and everything is a very popular opinion. Either in reality or just on reddit. Defeats the whole purpose. F China's government but hating Chinese people is racist. Yeah, no Sherlock. Thinking a certain group of people as one and hating them all is the definition of racism. Not an opinion. Or even an unpopular one. Sometimes I write a thoughtful comment with a different perspective. And it starts an interesting conversation. Most of the time, comment is either ignored. Downvoted with no explanation, or I get called every insult you can think of for not being in sync with the reddit hive mind. Sock puppet accounts. I've talked about this before but spammers really annoy me. For those of you unfamiliar with these accounts they are usually brand new or occasionally older accounts that are bought with little activity that repost comments and posts, word for word, to gain karma so that they can sell the accounts to spammers or use them themselves to spam here is a more detailed guide about them. We find and ban dozens of these accounts every day here on Ask Reddit and I know the mods of other subs have just as hard of a time dealing with these as we do. There is a sub called Arthesifying accounts dedicated to spotting these sock puppets accounts and calling them out. 
Then they're the t-shirt spammers that are just as bad. They will post on a sub like a regular user being like, look at this cool shirt I got. And then in the comments another one of their accounts will act like they are unrelated and say something like, if anyone wants to buy it, I found it here. This isn't always limited to t-shirts there was a guy that did this with a potato and bragged about how money he made because of reddit. We get these accounts on here a lot too. Typically with threads about gifts and it's usually this candle company, this face blanket company, and many other novelty gifts. All of them probably owned by the same person. It really annoys me how these accounts use methods like this to trick people. The new design of the comments section for Android users. No, I don't want to see everyone's picture by their username. And no, I don't like having the voting buttons on the left side of the screen now. The Reddit Evermind has accepted certain facts and situations to be 100% and unquestionably true. Many of these facts are exaggerations, based on questionable sources, or just downright wrong, or how people with no experience or knowledge of something just know which response will be upvoted so they just roll with it. Guarantee you someone who has never even heard the album has responded rumors in a greatest album thread. How hateful it can be to things. Instagram is only bad because they repost memes, and that's like 2% of the app. Images have a place, and I might get downvoted to hell for that.